Recently, I was watching Shaves' Anytube Digest. Shaves started talking about how Manime Matt's recent video on Oda High School Host Club had some stuff he's unsure of, and with that, he mentions how Manime Matt says how did his father want to hold up well nowadays because of a certain word. So I went to the video itself, and yep, sure enough, there was a bit about how hard his father wouldn't hold up in 2020 because of a certain word. A word I will absolutely not be repeating on here. They just say it so much and so casually, it's just like, kind of mind-blowing. The word they're talking about is a Japanese word that's used most commonly towards gay men, but also gets used towards drag queens, and to a lesser extent, trans women. That word is okama. And if I may, I want to clarify some things to the best of my ability. So the word that's said is okama, but how is it translated? Well, it's translated in both the English dub and sub versions of Oron as tranny. And while I don't entirely blame the translators for translating Okama like this, after all, it's used kinda similarly, it doesn't really paint the full picture. In the introduction to the sixth chapter of Genders, Transgenders, and Sexualities in Japan, Wim Lungzing writes, Okama, which used to be written with the character for Kama, originally referred to the anus and eventually, by implication, to men whose rear is penetrated during sex. Okama literally refers to a pot. And in the context of gay men, it refers to their anus, and specifically the term is for gay men who receive anal sex. Which in this imagination, it's used to effeminize the man. And there's also another point of reference for Okama, and that is of sex workers. Okama denotes a connection to sex workers which is believed to be based on Edo period brothel workers. Which paired with the feminizing of these men, it creates what Lungzing calls a double whammy. Trans women around the world, as well as Japan, are often relegated to sex work as the only option for work. So it makes a sort of clear road towards trans women being called Okama, because after all, it's both an effeminizing term, as well as one couch in a history of sex work. But its usage has been transformed from not only sex workers and gay men, but that of the drag performer. In Japan's entertainment industry, the term okama gets used whenever there's a man dressed as a woman gag on TV. But it's also coded in host clubs and gay bars where either gay men, drag queens, and sometimes trans women are the performers of women's clothing. I guess to go back to the usage of okama in Oran High School Host Club, it contextually makes a lot of sense, right? After all, Oran is a show about host clubs. There's even a gag in which the boys throw themselves in drag. But for the character of Yoji, Haruhi's father, I do not think he's a reference to trans people. Although they're often thrown into the same context through their shared spaces. Yoji is by and works at a drag bar. The usage of Okama in Oran is perhaps closer to English-speaking gay men's usage of faggot. That being said, like faggot, Okama has not been accepted by the larger community. I think it's also interesting to note that Ryoji doesn't start cross-dressing until Haruhi's mother dies. The death of her, a salary woman, forces him to find more work. That, coupled with his work at the liquor store, he seeks out a job at the drag bar. To which I think this can be read as a reference to the economic conditions that lead people, queer people, to things like sex work. All this isn't to say that the word isn't problematic. It absolutely is. Japan's gay rights activist groups have been fighting against this war for a while now. And it's doubly problematic considering it does get used towards trans women, when after all, it exclusively is used towards men. But I think when we translate the word, we often ignore the history of it and the more complicated usage of it. I get Manime Matt's concerns, but because translating material is so easily trustable, I do feel like we run the risk of potentially making ill-formed criticisms on shows like Oran. Or even something like Tokyo Godfathers, where people have had a similar judgment towards the usage of tranny in the subtitles, when like Oran, Tokyo Godfathers has an inherent tie to Japan's host clubs. Next time you see the word tranny pop up in subtitles, listen for Okama. <laughs>